It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Austria series in my custom scenario. And we declared war on Poland. Now there's a chance that Romania won't join this alliance. And you're probably thinking why, because they are guaranteed by Romania. Well, I think it's because they're in a separate alliance. And because of that, the way it would normally work is that they'd join the same alliance. But if they're in their own, they won't. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a few divisions here I need to have in this point as well. Poland has joined, or oh, Latvia has joined the war. But it's just this northern alliance here. And the Soviets want us to join the common turn. I don't know why they would ask for that. It's when we're fascists. Is it because they're the leader of the faction and they can just override everything? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to pull off a few divisions. One, two, three, four. Go here. Go here. Go here. Awesome. Okay, so I just have a few divisions there just to hold out that point. It really looks like Romania is not going to join the alliance, so I'm going to have to move my tanks up and make a push directly to the heartlands of uh, Poland. I also want to break these divisions off separately. Let's make these a different color. Um, red. A very dark red. And we'll get a new general. We'll get a guy who's... A harsh leader. Division recovery reduction by an extra plus one attack. Not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for more of a defensive guy, but we'll make do with what we've got. We'll put you here, and we'll put your attack here. I've shown this tactic before, haven't I? If I have talked about it before, I'm not going to talk about it again, but you'll I'll demonstrate the why I'm doing it this way, and you'll see. Right, I like interception. We can't go topple mob because we haven't got enough war support. Not in an offensive war. Yes, we are. And there's no point going for more stability because when this war ends, we're going to be pushed up to 94% anyway. It's a shame we can't get a war against Romania. Oh. Romania is now guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Why? And they're fascist. Okay, I'm pretty certain here that if I fabricate in Romania... 10 days? Really? It's because we're already in a major conflict. That's the reason why the fabrication is so quick. I'm pretty certain if we declare war here, the Allies won't join because, yet again, they're in their own separate alliance again. I was going to fabricate because it'll take so long to fabricate and complete. I was going to do it now and then get it later. How's the tanks looking, boys? <sighs> Those tanks need work. We're having a little issue with manpower at the moment. I don't want to push my manpower reserves any more, any more heavily than we've already done so. I also feel like I want to build this airport up a lot bigger here as well. Do that here. I don't know why, but at the bottom of the construction screen, it like, really bugs out. It keeps pushing up and down. Does anyone else notice that bug, or is it just me? Or is it just me? Just... Alright, so we can go for this one. Uh, this gives extra 5% war support. And this is if we're in a faction. We get a bunch of boosts. For electronics, industry, and infantry support weapons. This gives us some free factories. I think we should go for secret weapons, you know. Yeah, we should go for secret weapons. By the way, out of all the national focuses, or the generic focus tree, this one, secret weapons is the best. If you've been following my channel for a while, do I repeat myself a lot? Do I repeat myself a lot? Do I repeat myself a lot? I already know I do. You don't answer that question. Please don't answer that. I already know that I do. I always kind of like believe that there are new people watching my channel, so that's the reason why I kind of say things over and over again. That's the reason why, guys. I don't want you guys to miss out any spicy information, you know? Yeah, so secret weapons are what we're going to go for. Working on the best AA. 
I'm working on rockets as well now. Making some more improved artillery. Guns are good. Don't think we need as much support equipment anymore, but we'll keep an eye on that one. I like that we thought we are making five rows of AA, because we need to upgrade a lot of the old AA. I'm having a bit of a hard trouble with tanks at the moment. I like to produce as many tanks as possible, because we'll need them to expand our divisions in future. And we're only missing by 1% of production, so you know what? I don't actually care. I don't care. I realize we need to focus on Navy too. I think we go for trade addiction and just spam out loads of destroyers at uh, submarines. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. What? China has joined the East Prosperity Sphere. So, Japan has declared war on China. They peaced out because Japan lost all the mainland. Qing China rebelled against China and became independent. China's declared war on Qing China, or all the, all the way around. And because they're mutually at war with someone, Japan's China's joined the war as well? And now China's all at war with all the warlords. <laughs> okay. That's, that's so weird. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool, though. Hey, all history, boys. All history. All right, so it looks like the surveys are about to fall, which is good news. Oh, my God. Poland is so strong. We've got rockets now. There we go. A little bit of tungsten, which we'll get from Sweden. Don't need as much chromium. Max out the infrastructure there. That's perfect. We're doing, we're doing okay. We could do use a bit more tungsten and a bit more chromium, but everything else is looking pretty sweet. Oh, these are out of oh, these divisions in Slovenia aren't connected to the mainland either by a port or a land connection, so they're they're burning out. Look at the strength on these divisions; they're about to die off. Um. If we adjusted that, we would get more steel, so that might be worthwhile. What's the difference? So it's losing 5% production, 4% research time. I think we might go for limited exports at some point. I'm not sure when, though. All right, that's good. So we're going to focus on Navy now. We're going to get some subs out. We are literally just going to spam subs. Soviet Union has capitulated. All right, how are we going to do this, boys? They have got so many divisions. So this, this is pretty spooky, to be honest with you. Romania would like them to join their alliance. Oh, man, I'm not sure what to do. Well, we initially, we initially did break through here, which is good news. I guess we should do something like this, right? Whoa! They're going in all different directions! Why? I just want to get a little encirclement here. War propaganda against Poland, yes. Secret weapons is done. Go for rocket tech. Sure. Oh, oh, we've not got full air control here. Interesting. Just don't have enough planes. Poland's air force is crazy. This is a Polish superpower. I have never seen Poland become this strong just by AI. This is amazing. I love it. And they got British volunteers as well. Can we actually break through here? Probably not. They've got lots of fighters. Okay, can we maybe build up some AA to get a little bit more air control? I'm trying to think of ways that we can get more AA without... Yeah, I'm trying to think of ways we can do it. 
still have this weird template again, don't we? And we're an extensive too. We're having a really hard time with manpower. A really hard time. They can't pierce the tanks. And we're getting air control and shooting down their planes, but still it's not enough. Divisions they've got. Alright, what can I go for? I guess we could go for ship designer, that would speed up things. Military theorist, nah. Commando, bomber interception. So, once upon a time, we did say that we were going to go for mass mobilization because we didn't need the manpower. Well, we did need the manpower, then we didn't need the manpower, now we do again. On full uh, 360, boys. Got an extra trait. Oh, we can't select any anyway. Um, Panzer leader 31. Needs a division that's 40% ratio of tanks. Is this 40%? Not 40% hardness, is it? Oh, we're actually going to break through, are we? Are we? Ah, oh, bridge holding. Awful tactics. they break this, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. No, we can't. And they're retreating forward? Alright, let's back up. they just got too many divisions. They can just kind of like funnel tons of divisions in this one area. A little bit behind on steel, but that's it. We might need the steel because we're going to make loads of subs soon. Soon. They won't break this. Well then again, maybe they will. Please stop doing that. When I scroll down, it scrolls back up again. Please. Paradox. Fix the bug. <laughs> Completely shredding the infrastructure here. I don't think they'll be able to break this. I don't think they will. What? They're actually breaking it. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I really didn't expect this. Are we going to have to do that? Really? They're breaking this? How? I think it's the air control. Have a look. Um, leading combat with? Just have a weird division template. I think we might try and reduce the size of this template. I think we're going to go for that instead. That gives us tons of manpower back. And then we can acquisition this manpower. The Hyon. Oh my god, we've actually got enough. What? I honestly can't believe they're breaking this. This is crazy. They're definitely shooting down a lot of their planes though. A lot of their models are, are awful old models. United Kingdom has declared war on Norway. That's part of the Scandinavian intervention focus. Alright, so we've gone for you. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna add this here. Whether we win this or not is going to come down to whether we can produce enough capable fighters. And at the moment, it doesn't look like we can, so that's something we're going to have to work on. Yeah, that's something that needs uh, to be developed. 
I think we go for trade induction to get the biggest buffs for submarines, I think. Surface detection. Yeah, we're just going to get like absolutely tons of organization. That seems good to me. Our doctrine's being worked on. We're working on that. 50% boost. That affects artillery, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so the next tank will be the modern. Which we are heading in that direction, aren't we? Oh, signal companies. We don't need signal companies because we've gone for mass assault. Go for the better guns, I guess. It doesn't look like they're able to break this. But the question is, how are we going to break this? That's the question. If, if they're having a hard time and they've got like umpteen divisions, how are we going to do it? Oh my god, Poland's so strong. There's no extra planes, is there? But I couldn't move them all. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's in German territory. That would be like dead center of the air zone too. So that would have been ideal. Would have been ideal. All right, so that's gone for. Special forces, nah. Some extra factories maybe. Oh, the naval effort. Yeah, we need to do naval effort. I think we are going to go for the naval company too. This is grinding them like tons of XP too. Oh, adaptable. Can't say no to it, it's just too good. These tanks are, uh, I've seen better days. So this is six divisions. Add them onto this guy, because this guy is now a skilled staffer. This guy. I think we're going to go for Ambusher. Just for the purpose that we can like really dig in. Give us an extra... 18 is that? Yeah, 18 extra entrenchment. That's crazy. I'm going to give this a different icon because it's really confusing me. Um, go for the... That'll do. I don't think I'll pull back if we don't eventually lose this. But if we lose this tile, then we have to pull back. There's no doubt about it. That fort is completely flattened anyway. And they're just going to keep plowing into it. How's the casualties at the moment? 302, 75k. This is not good for us, really, because uh, they do seem to have a lot of excess manpower. Hmm. Hmm. All propaganda against Yugoslavia. I'll do it just for the sake of the busy manpower. There is a little cheeky exploit that I've recently become aware of that I could use right now to get a little bit more excess manpower. Oh, they've broken it. Okay, we need to pull back. Just gonna merge those boys up. Was this the guy that? No, it's the wrong guy. That's the guy I just promoted recently, isn't it? Yeah. It's this guy. Yeah, he's becoming a panzer leader. Very slowly. Really difficult if you've got two fallback lines stacked on top of each other. No way. There we go. That was close. Ahead of time bonus. Nice. If he grabs Dredzen, is he going to control this area? No. That's good. We need you guys to really dig in. We do have air control now, which is good. And I guess, too, what we could do, if we wanted to be cheesies, we could... Oh, man, they start pushing immediately, too. I want them to dig in. Technically, are a little bit. Don't need as much chromium. Need aluminium. Really? Oh, we never took hungry, did we?
would give us an extra six, extra three. We're pumping out so many fighters now. I guess we could cut down the f on the close air support a little bit. Oh my god, that's the spot that's the weakest because it's at the bottom of the production. Uh, engineers. And this is the battleground. We're building up this airbase too. What excess planes have we got? Close air support. We don't actually need close air support either. It's fighters we need. I never thought that Poland would be this strong. This is insane. Bomber interception, chief of navy, decisive battle. None of those are very worthful. Worthful, new word. I need 80% war propaganda, war support. You go for total mob. I think we're going to save for that. Um. How's the heavy tanks going? Oh, we're behind them at 500. That's not too bad. I'm alright with that. I think we're having a bit of an issue with motorized too, so we'll just rearrange those a little bit. We're gonna go for a flexible navy, right? Yeah, and then we go for subs. Just gives a ahead of time penalty, so we might be able to get sub four. Uh, kind of early, I don't know. It's going to take us at least a year to get to sub 4, so maybe the bonus might be not as worthwhile, but we'll see. I guess we could go for service by requirement. Uh, no, I don't really want to, though. I hate seeing that old into all fighter. I hate seeing it, because I know it's like complete trash. Yeah, this is the army that needs to be prioritized first. I don't disagree with that. That's right. The question is, is if we did try and sneak around here and land behind them, how would we manage to do that? Push into urban or push into hills? They're equally terrible to push into. I guess hills is easier because you've got the plane aircraft support. Plane aircraft support. Norway has the Democratic Party put in power. Interesting, because the Democratic power, power was also in power. Huh. Out of curiosity, if I declare war on Denmark now, now that the UK is at war with them, will that mean that... I actually have no idea what would happen in that instance, you know? Because it's so rare you see the UK declare war and go outside of their national focus. Unless you have play with historical turned off, which clearly I don't. Yeah, so if I declared war on Denmark and took them out, it technically means they wouldn't join the Allies. Because you can't join the Allies if they're at war with the Allies, can you? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, this is a risk. This is a risk. This is so big. This could be a complete fuck up, actually. But we'll see how this goes. Move the air control over to here. The minute I do that, they start pounding one of my tiles. There's no airport here, is there now? Entrenchment, insane. 39 entrenchment. 
Alright, so we can go Total Mob. And then what you do is go for Women in the Workforce. And then you switch back to War Economy. That's so cheesy, isn't it? So they're at war with all the allies. Bulgaria has joined the Balkan Alliance. Oh! Okay. Okay. One of the warlords has fallen to China. Ooh, but Qing China's doing quite well, pushing into them. This is so strange. It's like a reverse war, you know? It's like... I don't know. It's, it's so, so weird to see this in such a random order. Oh, they've got mutineers. Oh, that's such a bad one, too. One of the worst crises is... is Japan has declared war on the Republic of Malaysia. They'll join the Allies. Yeah, they have. So that means now that China is at war with the UK. <laughs> That's so bizarre. I love it. Oh, Ethiopia controls Hong Kong. Of course. Like in real history. All right, no one's fabricated on them, so let's go. All right. Oh, Denmark's joined the Polish alliance. Oh, I just didn't see that coming. I just really didn't see that coming. I can't believe... Oh, okay, we are breaking them. Okay. I can't believe we're not breaking this. We need way better planes. The planes we've got right now are trash. Oh, and Czechoslovakia is now at war. Of course. So what's happened now is because they've joined the Polish alliance. Oh my god, that's really bad for me. Because that means I've got a really narrow front line, haven't we? How strong is Czechoslovakia? They're going to get steamrolled. Holy crap, boys. This is like such an amazing turn of events. I never saw this coming. All right, well, I guess this army now has a use. He has to be on the border of Czechoslovakia, I guess. Yeah. Man, this is such a weird twist of events. Holy crap, guys. Technically, you can support that attack, can't you? That's what we should do. Concentrate all the firepower into one point. French troops. And there's no one here now. Okay, we'll just grab Hamburg then. Alright, that's it. That's the breakthrough. Yunnan has joined the Allies. It's actually kind of cool to see the Allies at war with someone different other than just the Axis all the time, you know? to see something a little bit different. Alright, so we don't go for submarine effort until we're working on... We've completed sub-3. So, equipment ahead of time bonus? Sure. I don't think what we'd go for. I guess we'd go... I guess what we could do... Oh, I know what to do at this point. We go for that one. And then we get the ahead of time bonus for that one. Because night attack is really OP. Penalty, 88% river crossing. Ouch. Alright, Denmark's dead. I'm actually really impressed how strong Denmark actually is. Oh, and then again. Oh, a lot of these divisions are Polish ones. Okay, well that explains why, why Denmark's so strong all of a sudden. Interestingly, Czechoslovakia is actually not doing too bad against Poland. 
The only problem this is after when this war ends, we're going to have issues with the alliance. Because the allies are going to want land. But it's going to be an interesting peace conference, I'll give you that. I know there's a few people who use player-led peace conferences, which I don't like them. I think they're cheating. I don't want to cheat, boys. I want to play fair, boys. Play fair. Um, none of these really help us out because... What's the issue? We're a bit behind on oil, weren't we, at some point? Yeah, we still are. Though technically a little bit of drip of oil would be good, right? But we're probably better off with the doctrines at this point. You break Copenhagen, they're dead. Mark's gone. Iceland can take takes control. Independent Iceland with no factories. Oh no, one civvy factory. I expected checkers of Aki to fold, but they've not. How big is the Polish fleet? Not. Very small. Is there anything here that we need? Nah. So we can let this area in Denmark just fall flat. I don't need it. We don't need to mess around with it. These, on the other hand, we don't need to build those up anymore. No, we'll get rid of those. Build the AA up here, though. Oh no, marching music, please, no. Can't handle anymore. Right, I think at this point we are in a good way that we could snipe this army. I think we'll do that now too. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And I hope you have an awesome day. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.